Hi and hello, let's play fans of Sherlock Pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of XCOM The Long War Beater 15. Um, last episode obviously was a big disappointment, a big disaster on that medium ship. We lost the whole entire squad and we lost a lot of good people and we had some weapons damaged and destroyed and stuff like that. Which is um, quite annoying about the, alien, the alloy plating actually, one and two being repaired and one being destroyed is that I could really have done with it here on the bomb disposal level because it's an level there you do require some speed. And obviously to sacrifice to get speed, you sometimes have to sacrifice armor and... Well, you can think about how that goes. Anyway, this is the crew, that, the motley crew that I've assembled for today's mission. We're going to have an assault. Always nice for the run and gun as well in case you need to... You know, the same way for meld, you can run and gun to get that extra bit of run to get one of the bomb units, you know, to, dis to disarm the bomb type thing. But really here for helping out the scouts to be able to keep trying to keep pace with them and giving them a bit of extra firepower back up. We have taken two gunners. The first one is taking the basically the LMG version of the uh, laser weapon. I can't remember what it's actually called now, but taking the gun sight, the scope, and the extra ammo. We're taking a sniper as well. He's taking a smoke grenade and the scope. Uh, one of our scouts is taking the laser SMG. That's a Colton. Um, I have given him the tap vest. So they're basically going to have six hit points. They've got flashbangs. This one's got the laser carbine because I don't have the SMG, so Burton... Again, six hit points. We're going to have to risk it with the six. I would like them to have seven, but hey-ho, what can you do? The other gunner has um, the SMG, because I don't have another laser version anyway. I do want him to be able to move. I know he's not going to move very far, but he's going to be designed to get offer some heavy firepower just behind these guys a little bit. And finally, we have a medic as well, who's going to be acting kind of like an infantry to a certain degree. Uh, I might actually swap that. I'm actually going to swap that smoke grenade. We're going to swap it for a laser sight. Just to give her a bit more accuracy. Yeah, give Hassan a bit more of that accuracy. Um, Alright, let's go. I hope it's the roadway. I'll live with it if it's the... Um, if it's the, um, the cemetery. I'm going to be pretty annoyed if it's the train yard. Balls. What's doubly annoying about the train yard mission? Well, actually, you don't always start there. But I think... No, I actually said that. I think I almost always have started there. You start off in a really crap position. Like, right down these little stairs. You have to come out... Uh, deary me. Well, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. It's what's presented in front of us, and we will have to deal with it. Can't have two disasters in a row. I don't want that to start becoming a trend. Right. Alright, lads. Come on. Strike yep. one. Council Intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Our sensor readings indicate that the device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from Yada yada yada, Dr. Shen. I know what I'm doing. This power node should give you more time. Power node. He said power node as if it is like that was the that was like a word that he'd never heard before. It's like power node. It's like it's not like a made up word. You know, it's something real. You do have power nodes. Anyway, basically how this works is you we want to come out here, go around this way and then make our way here with our sniper and line of sight uh, squad sight gunner protecting us as we make our way up here to where the bomb is around here we will get attacked from the side we will get attacked from all over the place by all manner of horrible aliens but there's not really fuck all we can do about it other than just keep plowing forward now straight away i'm just going to run up here just to get activate that first one give me a little bit of extra time see if we activate something no okay Now we need to get over to this side as quickly as possible. Hopefully we don't activate anyone yet and we can kind of move our troops out. Oh, there we go. All right, well, there's that plan out the window already. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can run back here, I suppose should be oakley dokely cover. It's not the greatest cover in the world, it must be said, but it's better than no cover. See, this is what I mean about this starting spot. It's fucking shit. 
It's so hard to get out and get yourselves all set up. If you do activate early, then you can be in all kinds of bother. It's such a ridiculous place to start. It really annoyed me. We could get flanked really badly over here. That's the LMG, so I don't want to move you. Ah, shit, did I give him an LMG? I thought I was giving him an SMG. Alright, well, it is what it is. Get flanked over there as well, to be honest, but... Hmm. Oh, we'll gradually move you up. It's so annoying that that doesn't count as cover, and I don't want to rush forward. I suppose I don't know if they'll be able, if, if she'll be, a, if he'll be seen there. With a, with, uh, I don't know. It could be a really bad spot to be standing, but I suppose we're going to have to risk it for a biscuit, aren't we? Move forward, uh, sniper. If we can get out of this spot without taking too many, you know, without anything really disastrous happening or something like that, then all good. I suppose I could have covered with a smoke grenade, but that plan's kind of gone at the moment. Hit that. It seems you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry, or well, you know. Okay. Can see. It's a line of sight. I think I might use that smoke grenade. Because I really don't want him to die. Why is it fucking weird throwing? There we go, that's better. We'll smoke up, hopefully they'll get into a position which will be nice for us to be able to take advantage of, and um, we shall kill them. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a long mission. Well, this mission can never be that long, just because of, you know, there's a time limit. <laughs> you might run out of time, bomb blows up. Don't really want to get into it fighting anyone else just yet, though. Miss. Oh, balls, man! Straight away! Uh, that's the risk of taking six fucking hit points. Good thing I took two of those bad boys, really, isn't it? Straight a fucking way, though. Couldn't give me a little break, could it? All right. Well, get out over here. Hmm, you're not flanked. I can run and gun. A lot of things, I suppose. Could move up to here and stun him. I kind of feel I need to be more aggressive than that. I need to be really aggressive here. Hyper aggressive. Alright. Here's the move. We go for a run and gun. We pray like fuck we don't get like some horrible activation here. Could have maybe moved there. Probably still would have got 100%, but didn't want to risk it too much. Okay, so we'll kill you. There we go. Unfortunately, you did actually get engulfed and. Oh no, you didn't. You're alright. I thought it somehow blew up around you despite you shot him back that way. Now, he's going to try and move question is what do I do about it I might as well take a shot at him rather than overwatch because he's gonna move anyway there's nothing really I can do to stop that so I might as well take this shot because it's better odds on hitting than hitting with a reaction shot so we'll do that 
Missed, but hey ho. Now it depends where he runs to. We need to hunker down with you, though. Uh, you, oh yeah, you've still got this shot, haven't you? I suppose we could suppress you. Yeah, I'll take the suppression on you. And you. Or just steady weapon. If he falls back, he might choose to fall back. I don't think he's just going to stand. No, he can't just stand there. He's flanked. He won't. He'll definitely move. There he goes. We missed. Okay. But he is falling back, which is good. And he proper pelted back as well. What's he doing? I don't know, not a lot. But he is out in the open here. So we could finish him off. We should finish him off. Hassan should get him here. Come on, Hassan! Oh, come on, Hassan! That's, that's poor, Hassan. That's all I can say. It's a poor effort. And we're going to move a bit further forward. Hopefully, no activations. Good. Disarm a bit of the bomb. Got a 44 percenter. Fortunately, we can't get any more fucking help. You rush over here. Bit risky putting him there. I'm going to take that risk, though. I need him to be in position to be able to do stuff. Yeah, it's a shame you can't do squat from there, but you need to move as well. You have unlimited squad sight, so it's not really that big a deal where you are. You can be back here. That's fine. Um, I think I'm, I think it's worth taking the shot. So we'll take the shot. Yes, kill. There we go. All right. And we just need this fucking bullshit to wear off him, and we'll be golden. Shame he got one-shotted. But, hey-ho, whatever. Come on, wear off for fuck's sake. I suppose I could send my medic back. Well, let's just keep moving forward for now. Get you up here. That's fine. I ain't moving you. Well, let's move you more towards getting into cover because you're basically acting as our infantry here, the medic. An infantry who doesn't shoot twice but can heal us. All nice and good. Cameron, you move a bit further forward. Probably get you to reload. You need to just hunker down. Uh, you can go on Overwatch. No, you can't. You can hunker down. Might as well move you a little bit further forward. There's no point having you that far back. Oh, should I move you? Yeah, it could be a bit dicky on the line of sight. Okay, we'll just keep gradually edging you forward. No reason to leave you too far away. We're, we're alright at the moment. Get you to reload. We're... Need to get a little bit of a move on, but we are okay. I mean, in, we've got that one, and we've got as soon as our scout can move, there's another one right there that we can activate, so... We're alright. And we're not far away from where the bomb is. There we go. Bomb is going to reach full power any now. He is available to do stuff, so... We'll zip that for you. Good job, strike one. That should buy us a few minutes. You can get a bit further forward, so we'll go up. The longer we go without activating, I'm going to be pretty happy. Um, you might as well just follow him up to here. We know we're not activating there, aren't we, don't we? Because you just ran that path. You skedaddle up to here. There shouldn't be an activation here. There shouldn't. Why do I have a feeling that there will be? Well, we'll have a look. 
No, okay. I don't know why I still moved there. I'm not saying they, I've got that feeling that there might be. It's like, well, why move there then, you idiot? It's fine. Now, I really don't want to move him that way, just in case there is an activation down there and I've moved everyone. So what I will do is instead... I can run him pretty much all the way up to here, and then we can... He's basically into the game from that stage. Don't want to move there, because he's out in the open. So, we'll just move him up to here. You see what I mean? If I went to here and then activated something, he's not in cover. Everyone else, at least, is in cover. So, don't really want to do that. We'll move you up to here, where we know that we're not going to activate anything, because we've already been through there, and we, are, or we currently are there. Alright, hunker down. Um, hunker down, whatever the point being on Overwatch. Not for you, anyway. I think that's the bomb. I might be wrong. It's, it's down this way, though. Don't worry. There it is. I don't like the fact that we haven't actually really encountered anyone yet, though. Other than that one group that we saw straight away. Oh, well, that's quite a nice spot to go. Yeah, we'll definitely go there. Still no activations? Get over there and it. We have a new objective. Could actually go there this turn, but no, I'm just going to uh, buy some time. I would like to have killed a couple more people, because once we deactivate the bomb, there's going to be a bunch of fucking uh, bogeys flying in. And no one wants that. Moving to position. Let's move you forward. Run you up to here, I suppose. That's all fine and dandy. You might as well come up to here and activate that one as well. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, it's a bit more middle of the road, just in case we get people who are up on this roof here. In fact, actually, I wish I'd put you somewhere over here, but... Whatever. I think you're... Well, you might as well rush up a bit as well. No, alright. It's for you, hunker down. You... Uh, you can go on Overwatch. Not that it matters too much. You might as well reload. We'll see what brings us. And certainly here's some more Finn men. Over there, it looks like. The thing is, once we deactivate the bomb, then we start getting Finn men dropping in. That's not fun. Especially with Finn men on the loose in general. I suppose we shall have to see exactly who appears from where. So, let's go on see if we activate anyone. No, no activations. So, we'll go to disarm. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. I don't know why I need to do that. I'm not going to lie, I, I feel like I shouldn't really have to do that. I feel like that should be optional. Everyone go on Overwatch or steady your weapons. Actually, I want to get you up here as well into this heavy cover. I know you've got low profile, so... Or do you? Squad site... No, 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 you're just a specialist, that's right. So, getting you here would be a better idea. We'll steady that weapon. Everyone else, though, it's basically a wave of Overwatches at this stage. Move you that way. I wish I'd actually moved you there before I did that, but let's see where they are. Hopefully, we don't run into a patrol of others. We can encounter these ones that drop in. All right, here we go. Couldn't kill one, luckily. So we've got three on the ground. There's going to be a bunch now that just fly in from nowhere. They are all not in cover, though. If I could actually see him. All right, here comes one. Where's well, going to be number two? Two. Three. Up on the train cart roof. Okay. Four. I don't really want more than this. Hopefully that's going to be it. Alright, five. Well, some of them aren't as relevant as others. So we've got five that dropped in, plus the three. So that's eight altogether that we need to, um, we need to do something about. Alright, well, I don't really have much of a choice other than to shoot and hope that you kill. 
But you could do that, I suppose. Wait, 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 wait. The issue is, is that there's still those other cunts over there. I'm going to kind of move here. Come on, give me some... S Are you really not going to give me any fucking eyes? You really going to do that? Just thinking how I'm going to play this. Not well. <laughs> Okay. I can run and gun you to there. And hopefully you'll hit. Alright. There's a few things that need to happen first though. You need to like run all the way down here. To at least here. There you go. I needed you to activate a couple of these. A bit risky because you're going to activate multiple ones here. So we've seen people get one shotted. Oh, okay, he's been hit. Not great, but all right. Now you need to basically kill this one down here. There we go. Ned. You need to also help us out, but first. I rush you there. Seventy four, sixty eight. Alright, well we'll go for the seventy four. It's a three out of four chance. Come on. Good. And you 82, come on. It's your life that depends on it. Balls car, man. They're not that hard a shot to miss, man. It's disappointing. I mean, I know they're not guarantees, but it's a bit disappointing. You miss a 76. I think, I don't know whether you have 70. He had an over 70% shot. My two gunners basically missed an over 70 and an 82. It's disappointment to say the least. What did we kill, though? We killed two of them. Is that kill? Yes! Thank fuck for that. So that's one of the three that were there dead. We've killed two. So that should leave us six altogether, I think. Alright, but you're still alive. Still alive. Alright. You really can't get into any better position than this to take a shot. That should be alright in all fairness. I figured that would be a fine spot to be. Should be alright there. Oh crap, that was a dash! Ah, oh, I can't believe it. I thought it was thought it was a blue move. Oh. All right. Well, that's made things a little bit more awkward. That's for sure. All right. Well, we've got a flank on him. There's four damage. 50% chance at a critical. I could fucking do with a critical. I could do with the hit in all fairness. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. Phew. 
Now this is where I wish I had an engineer, but I was just flat out didn't have an engineer. Hmm. All right. Here's how we're going to play this. So we've killed everything that was over here, the three. There's two of them that are dead. There's another... So one of them's dead, rather. So there's these two. And then there's another two. Not right, I think there's another two. So that's four. There's definitely one that was up here. Another one over there. So I think there's four left. But I wouldn't really be willing to bet a life on that. You come over here. Gonna do a bit of healing on you. I, have to, I wish I could double heal you, to be honest, but that's not really an option. I don't know whether to move or suppress. Thing is, if I move, where can I move to? There's not terrible, but I'm aware that there's also that guy down there somewhere. Who is going to cause me a bit of an issue. Now, if I bunch them all up too close, they're just going to be spit central, aren't they? Alright, fuck it. We'll go for the suppression. Maybe blow away some cover as well, apparently. Do I want to take a 32% or would I prefer... Now, I'll suppress the other one here. So they're suppressing each other. Kind of funny. And you, steady your weapon. And we'll see what they do. Alright, I figured a spit was coming. That's alright. Alright, a 52%. Now, come on, a 50-50 chance? 50-50? Come on. This could be a kill. Oh, it was a hit. It just wasn't a kill. What I would give for flush right now. Or a grenade, for that matter. I don't know if you're going to get into their eyesight to bust any kind of overwatch. What? How didn't that trigger an overwatch? Seemed awfully bizarre. Can we get them both? We can get them both. Excellent. I think I will get them both. That is exactly what I'll do. Come on! I know I got you both. There we go. Flashbang these two suckers. Actually, I probably should have took some... Well, it doesn't really matter because I would have flashbanged the other one. So, I'll probably take a couple of pot shots at the one with less health. Never know. 30%. It's about a one in three chance. I hit him, he's dead, he has been hurt. You just need to hunker down. 37%. See, I almost feel like I should actually take a 37% at the other one, though, with the bigger boy damage, so we'll do that. Didn't hit. No, hey ho. You can only see one. 33%. Come on, hit. No, didn't hit any, but here's what it is. They are both flashbanged, so hopefully won't be able to be too dangerous. Miss, miss, that's good. Miss, come on, miss. Yes, good, good, good. It's all right. It's all all right. If I keep telling myself that, it will be all all right.
Now you can't quite get into here, that's the problem. Oh, you can with a running gun. Okay. Question is, how exactly do I want to do this? Well, I tell you what I'd rather do. Let's hope that I kill one. I've always got the flashbang on my scout, so let's just try and... Um, come on, we'll try basically what we're doing before. One of these should hit. All oh, right, we've blown away his cover. Good, good, good. Shame we can't see that one. If I move here, though, he should be able to see him, right? Yeah, okay. Come on. Come on! There we go. Good times. 32 percenter. Not great. Right, yeah, you don't have any... Uh... You're still down from the acid, right. What are the odds if I move here, just out of curiosity, without using the running gun? Because I'd rather not use the running gun. I was say, if it was like 100 percent, yeah, it would have been pretty good, but obviously it isn't. Um, I don't really know what to do. Is it worth well, taking a 32? No, I might as well just use that running gun. Well, actually saying that, the running gun would be handier to have still, so why don't we take that shot and we'll see. Might be a kill. No, alright. We will have to use the running gun as well. If I go there, puts me in... Oh, crap, but yeah, that makes me run through... Or does it? Yeah, I think it does. Now the question is where to go here, you see. Because I know that there's other aliens out there, you know. It's not like this is just like... Everything's all peachy once I, get, once I kill this guy. I would really love to go there, but I think it might go through the acid and... Uh, could go there. That's not really great if something's coming from that way. Well, saying that, I kind of have to pass... Well, do I? If I go that way, I would. If I go like that, I wouldn't. Alright. Well. I'm going to have to hope and pray, I suppose, that there isn't anything over there untoward. Finish him off. Good. Um... Now, I think they are all kind of facing forward now, everyone who we could encounter, so... We'll kind of be trying to get into cover that way facing, if that makes sense. Get a reload. Uh, you need to still keep hunkering down until that acid wears off. I certainly need my scout out ahead. Oh, here we go. Because my scout's the one who's going to be busting these overwatches. That they'll no doubt be in. Aha, there's one. But we can't actually see him. Oh no, you can. I've only got a 28%er on him there. You are in range, which is good to know. You're out of ammo. 47% will take it. There's no reason not to. It's almost a 50-50 shot. Could be good. No. Alright, we'll take another 50-50 shot. Nah, no, luck's definitely not in. Missing 50-50s. Um, yeah, I mean, you really should reload, shouldn't you? And we'll do that. You don't have a 50-50, so I can completely understand why you... Well, you're, you need to hunker down anyway, again. That's fine. You're going to start to make your way over as well. I'll take you through the ship. Uh, through, through the ship? Oh, that's not good. Why would you take that route? Why would you take the route through there? No, I suppose you have to. There's no actual option. That's not going through the... That should be fine. Alright, we'll do that. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you might as well reload. Oh, I don't want you next to him, though. I do kind of want you a little bit further forward. Or do I? Well, I want you kind of nearer to the medic here, because I wouldn't mind the medic healing you up, so... Let's try that. We'll run you over here. We'll hunker you down. And we'll see what Captain Finman's got to do. 
There is definitely another one, though. It's not just him. Is he coming at me? Oh, he's gone up on the roof. He's going round, is he? Oh, that's made life a little bit trickier. Oh. I'm under fire. You are under fire, it's true. Alright. I'll move you up here. Do a quick heal wound. Come on, time to cowboy up. Come on! Heal me! Didn't really heal to the max, which is a bit of a disappointment. Not quite got my uh, running gun back, which is also a bit of a disappointment. But only one turn away. We do have eyes on him. Another 52 percenter. Not really been getting the breaks with the 50-50 shots. You'd think I would uh, get one. Right, we missed two basically 50-50s. Now, 47 and I think the other one's 52, so it basically works out as if you were to add in two 50-50s. I think one should hit. It's our third attempt at him. No, missed again. And again. Yeah, finally. Alright, it's only the fourth attempt, but did actually hit. And that leaves us with one more fucker left. Uh, we'll go on and check it out. I think he is over here. Anyway, alright, you hunker down. I'll move you up to full cover. Oh, you can see him. There he is, and he's not in cover. Should be a kill. Well, if you hit him, I guess, but you didn't. But we've got an open shot at him here. Come on. Come on. Wow. 275% shots missed. How many good shots am I going to miss? And that one, I mean, all right, with the shatter rate, it might have not been a kill, but that was a kill. He was dead if I had hit him with that flanked. And you lose your scout because you missed two 75% shots. Oh well. What can you do? Lost both my scouts. Kind of annoying. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a little bit annoyed when you miss those kind of shots. That could have saved your ass. I need eyes on this idiot. You can get eyes on him. There he is. Anyone care to take a shot? Are you actually too out? You're out of range, are you? You don't have any ammo. I can run and gun him. The thing I'm worried about is the route that they'll take in to run and gun him. Yeah, right through there. And what if he panics? So I have to kind of go like that. Not even be right next to him. What about if I wanted to go there, actually? No, that's fine. Going in for the kill. <sighs> okay. Oh, crap, and there's... Oh, right, okay, that's not even it. Well, at least we'll kill you. You can worry about these chumps in a minute. We do have shots. Oh, are you too far away? Really? Okay, well, I guess you are. And you're still too far away as well. So it's going to be a reload. We'll have to wait for them to come at us. You can't see ship, so we'll put you on Overwatch. Ah, uh, let's reload. Would have been nice if you could have fired. We're going to have some long-range support in a second. So annoying that scout. Second one, first one. All right, whatever. But come on, reaction shot. Good shot. Unlucky. Unlucky. It's a good shot though. Can't blame you for that. Ooh. All right. Stealth mode, you little cheeky bastard. You cheekatrons. Hmm. We don't have line of sight. Yeah, this is a little bit of a worry. Hmm. Should probably drop him back, really. That would be the move. I'm going to drop him all the way back here. Or her, rather. All the way back here. 
Oh, really? Did we just activate another two more? Fuck's sake. Alright, so... We've got three... Thin men. Three thin men. And a seeker. From what I can tell. Yeah. Alright, well. Here's what it is. Do we want to take a shot here? 50 50 shot? I don't feel excited about it. I think I'd rather just fall back here. Do that. Let them come at us a little bit. You drop back a bit as well. Anchor down. Give them away. Really wish I had an engineer. Make life much more easier. And you can't see? No line of sight for you? You do have line of sight, but you don't have great odds to hit. Hmm. Can't believe all you chumps don't have fucking line of sight. Alright, well, what we do is, we take a shot. We miss. Never mind. Then what we do with pretty much everyone... What about if I moved you here? Would you be able to see him? You would. 32%. We can get that up to about 50 with a steady hit of weapon. We will suppress you. There you go. Maybe we can blow away your cover with the suppression. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, you can go on Overwatch. You can go on Overwatch as well. And we'll see where we're at. Okay, so you're coming down the train at me. You've decided to stick on your Overwatch. And where's that floater? The Seeker? Is he just uh, reactivated? He has. Come on, shoot him! Ah, oh, man, that's so unlucky. Right over his head. What's he come out of cloak for? To shoot at me? Hit, but didn't do a lot of damage. Can certainly live with that. Alright. How do we want to play this? Well, you're going to shoot at him because you can only shoot at him. Be nice if you hit him. 50-50s. Could be. Yes! Okay, needed that. Good. So, we've got two of these guys left, I'm pretty sure, and the Seeker. How do we want to play it? I do have a running gun at my disposal. I don't think I want to use it just yet. You can only shoot at one thing, so you probably should shoot at it. We'll take the shot. 50-50. Yeah, hit. Didn't quite kill. A bit, bit unlucky, but... Hey-ho, you can come round here, but that does worry me a little bit if the other one does want to come down, but... Can't really worry about it too much. And you can't actually see anyway. Alright, well, fuck you then. We'll just reload. Would I rather suppress it? I think I'd rather suppress it. Copy that. Put a suppression on it. You. I mean, we could come out, but I don't really want to just leave him in half cover. So we'll hunker down with you and we'll see what the aliens do. Hopefully you come a little bit closer. I, I did have a running gun, but again, you're kind of putting yourself in a little bit of no man's land. You going into stealth mode isn't fun, and you being on that isn't fun either. I don't have anyone who can bust overwatches. Not anymore. I'm on the move. Oh, well, uh, what am I talking about? I do have an overwatch buster. It's called suppression. I can do this. Aye, so he won't be firing any overwatches at me. And then what I do is... I casually waltz up to him and shoot him in the face. I go right there. What? Who took that shot? It wasn't him. It was someone else who took it. Was it? Ah, his mate's over there. Right, okay. 
Well, that's how... Oh, are you really? You're fucking out of range? And you're probably going to be out of range as well. You're not going to be able to see him. Who's taking this shot? What? Ah, he's right. He was cloaked still. I see. I see. All right, well, you might as well take this one. Come on, hit. Ah! Damn you. All right, well, we've come here to kill you, so we might as well. There's no other reason not to. Eat that. You. I can't believe you can't quite see him, but you can see him. Do I want to suppress him again, or... Could just hung. Yeah, no, fuck it. We've got to shoot at him. Yes, we killed him. I was going to say, he'll just cloak again. And then we'll be in the same situation. And you do. You haven't shot yet, have you? Excellent. Okay, this could be the end of the game. Oh, no. What? You've moved? Oh, yeah, you moved over there. That's right. Okay. Never mind. Shame. We're going to miss that opportunity. Don't come over there. Stay where you are. Ah, good. He did stay where he is. That was really poor use of English. He did stay where he is. Alright, 97% even better. That's a kill. Yes, even my bench shooting can't fucking finish that. And we're done, I think. Whew. Lost both our scouts. One, annoyingly. That was really annoying. Sorry, I'm just going to be thinking about that for a while. Two 70-odd percent shots at a flanked target. And you miss both and you end up costing your scout. Oh well. No use crying over shit soldiers. There you go. Good thing we've got some more recruits coming. <laughs> Definitely do with a few more soldiers. Alright, oh wow, and gravely wounded for 35 days. But other than that, we did get a promotion for Hassan. Good stuff. Hassan will uh, take suppression. Very handy to have suppression. Uh, where we get? Oh, two alien alloys. Woo! It's like getting no alien alloys. We need to get some cash. A bunch of damaged items. Touch, we'll head off to the repair bay and repair them all. There we go. Hopefully we don't get a mission for a couple of days. <laughs> Just so I can repair my stuff. It'd be pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I can't really build anything with 100 credits, can we? Let's go scan for missions. Research completed on the fighter. Cool. Sign new research. And based on our analysis, we have improved pilot training and our weapon system better target weak points of the fighter class of an alien. Our hits to this UFO will do an additional damage going forward. We will also recover 20% more ally Illyrium when salvaging these craft. So all that's pretty good, isn't it? We want all the kind of advantages we can possibly get again in the air game. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I'm glad you appreciate them. The new recruits to work in the lab. Where the fuck are we going to get alloys from? Well, from a mission. That's where we're going to get one from. Large, nape of the earth. Well, you know the rules. We do scramble just to say hello. Hi! I hope it's an abduction. Because at least I can go and do that. I'm not going to do a large ship. I just refuse. I'll get absolutely mullered. Ooh! I sort of was a bit admiring it there for a second and forgot to disengage. Alright, be an abduction. You haven't landed, have you? Yeah, okay. And light! Woo! 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 So that's my Will, uh, Will Ferrell. That's, that's my Ric Flair impression. Um, excellent. So we get to probably train some rookies up. Brilliant. Nice, easy mission. But um, we managed to dispose of a bomb, so I was pretty happy about that. Let me come out of all this. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. Do me a big solid by doing that, supporting the channel, supporting the series. Leave your comments, leave your suggestions, all that jazz, and we shall see you next time when hopefully we're training up a few new rookies, a few very valuable needed rookies. Take care. Bye-bye.